Hey guys, it's Vanessa. I'm here today to do a review on this beautiful little water bottle called uh, the Beaker, BKR water bottle. And I also am going to compare it to another um, product. But first, let's talk about the Beaker. So the Beaker water bottle is, uh, it was originally started and designed as um, a water bottle that was also fashionable as well as functional. So a lot of water bottles um, prior to the beaker were just really bulky and, you know, not necessarily good looking. So the people at Beaker really wanted something that was sleek, that kind of followed fashion trends, um, but was also, you know, clean as far as the materials you were using to uh, drink your water. So this is what they came up with, this really cute bottle. So when you get the bottle, it comes with this little tag, beaker, and it says glass and silicone, all clean everything is their um, little motto. And it comes in a bunch of different colors. This one right here, which I think is showing up a little more like lime neon -y green, but in person it's a little bit more subdued, but I love this color. Um, it's called Kvetch. <laughs> Um, and that's the name of the color. So when you get it, it comes with these little tags on it. Um, super cute because it always has the name on it. And it looks like a clothing tag. Like, it is very fashion-y in my opinion. And the, there's information on here. Um, just basically on, like, the types of products and how to clean it. Um, and then it just, it says it's just a water bottle. Like, you're just a person. Who are you anyway? You're not just a person who accepts logic like leaching chemicals in your drinking water. Awkward shaped mouthpieces during your workouts. An island made of plastic with 700 years. Zero interest leased on development. Camping equipment as accessory with your couture. Give up your plastic habits. We've evolved. It's a beaker. All clean everything. So I have been stocking this for like years and years and lately stocking it hard for months because they are a little bit pricey. They're $30 and I was just like, I have a ton and you guys know when I say I have a ton, I have a ton of like water bottles and different things like that. But I really just loved this. I love that it's glass and I like that it was so sleek and simple. Um, and I really just wanted this like super, super bad. So I just kept stocking and finally I had enough like Ebates um, cash back. Um, so I got an Amazon gift card and I ended up getting it. This retails for I think it's $29.99, like 30 bucks essentially. Um, it retails for and for that you just you get the bottle. That's that. So the bottle, like I said, is made up. It's a glass bottle under here with the silicone sleeve and the silicone sleeve aside from adding like a fashion element to it helps protect it just like you know from small rolls and tumbles and that sort of thing um and then the other really cool thing about the beaker as kind of mentioned on the tag is that it's one of the few water bottles that has a really small uh opening when you go to drink you can like wrap your lips around it securely and it's not like awkward and weird um when you're trying to work out or something it's just a very natural um, spout. Uh, so I'm going to do kind of a side by side comparison because like I said, I was really debating getting this and I searched like everywhere for like a beaker, like a beaker at a cheaper price. And then I was like, is there any like kind of knockoff? So there's a lot of glass bottles with silicone covers. Nothing has this look though. And that's really what I like about this is the sleek little chubby look of it. So I went searching and searching for a knockoff and then I came across this guy. Very similar when I put him together, right? So this one, as you can see, is called the Contigo. And I got this at Target. And the Contigo runs for $9.99, but I got it on sale for $8.99. And then if you have a Target red card, you get an additional 5% off of that. So you can um, get these fairly cheap because, you know, it's Target. There's always a deal there. But if you like aesthetically the look of a beaker, you will probably aesthetically like the look of the Contigo. But I wanted to compare them kind of side by side and tell you a little bit about each. The main difference in these is the Contigo is not, and I repeat, not, oh, a glass water bottle. It is plastic, as you can see. It's all plastic, everything, making it much lighter than the beaker. When the beaker is empty, it has a little bit of a weight to it, but it's light. Um, but when it's filled with water, it can tend to make your gym bag a little bit heavy. Now, this one stays pretty light because it is all plastic. Um, and it also comes with this little tag, not as sleek as the beaker one. 
Um, but this is called the, the Contigo Tranquil Botter, Bottle. And this color is called uh, the Gray Jade. And I think they have this one and then also like a pink color, like a light pink color. So this one, it says it has a lifetime guarantee. It's leak-proof, BPA-free, non-slip um, silicone sleeve. Um, and that's all it really says. It has a carrying loop, BPA-free, uh, dishwasher safe. Now to compare these two guys kind of a little bit more side by side. So like I said, looks-wise, they look kind of similar. The beaker is a little bit sleeker just in the, the, the way that the curves are. This one, it's a little bit more extreme, nothing major. It's just a subtle difference, as you can see um, here. This one, I think the Contigo is a little bit bigger. I believe it's 20 ounces, and I don't know how many ounces the beaker is. It has a, uh, a 15 down there, so I don't know if that's how many ounces it is, but it might be 15 ounces, because um, I know there's two sizes, so it's, oh, 16 ounces. So the beaker is 16 ounces, and the Contigo is 20 ounces, so you get four ounce um, more capacity with the Contigo, and it's a little bit larger, you can see. Um, it feels about the same in your hand, though, so it's not really that big of a deal. Um, the silicones feel completely different, in my opinion. The Contigo one feels rough and not as refined, where the um, Beaker one feels smooth and nice to the touch and like a little bit more luxe. This one feels like a little bit of a cheaper silicone feel and like a little bit rougher. Like when I rub my hands on it, this one just feels like thicker and less refined. And this one feels like thinner yet still durable than um, the silicone on the Contigo. Another um, design note to mention is the top of these. Both of these have like a little carrying loop. But if you notice that the beaker one is a little bit offset, and I think that's aesthetic, but I also think that it was strategically designed that way because when you're carrying stuff, you know, a lot of times your, uh, your knuckles kind of get in the way and then they can get kind of caught like I'm doing here, but they get like caught um, when you go, you know, to take out your water bottle or your hand swings a certain way. And it's happened to me where I'm like, oh, like I almost like break a finger on it. Where the Contigo one is straight up, my, my, um, uh, knuckles can sometimes get a little bit more caught in here, a little more awkward on the hand. Um, where with the beaker that never really happens to me. So I kind of prefer the beaker one. It's like a small, subtle thing, but like when you're walking with the bottle, you notice it a little bit more. This one doesn't catch at all. And it's like a really smart little thing that they did. Um, the Contigo one isn't like completely straight. It kind of like, like these two posts don't line up. So it's a little bit, you can kind of see when I do this, you see it kind of, um, I don't know, like they're just not perfectly lined, which is kind of good when you go to twist it. It helps like slightly, not majorly. Um, both of these, when you um, take off the lid, they both have like a rubber kind of like gasket, I guess you could say, to ensure that if there's a very tight seal and um, nothing leaks. Um, I like the detail on the Contigo one. It just has that nice little color detail, um, which I think the beaker doesn't have, but they both do a good job of staying on the bottle. So when you take the lid off, the one thing you'll notice is that although this is a small opening, it's not as small as the beaker. In fact, the beaker bottle can still fit inside the Contigo. And I like to compare this to like when you buy RC, which is kind of like a lower brand soda than like a Pepsi or a Coke. The RC top when I was younger used to always be like a little bit bigger. But it, this one is a little like I get more water kind of falling out or this one. It is a more secure um kind of sip for my mouth. I have noticed with this one, I have had like water spill and stuff if I'm uh, drinking it on the go. So I do prefer the beaker opening here. Um, and then again, if we look at the bottles, the color of the silicone goes all the way up on the beaker where here at the Contigo it kind of stops and then you have the plastic exposed. Now, something about the openings of these and an advantage that the Contigo has is the Contigo not only has a small opening, but the reason the elastic stops is that it also has a double opening to expose a much wider mouth. And so if you like wide drinking, you can use this, obviously much wider. You can use it with a straw if you wanna put a smoothie or other 
thicker drink in there, I guess. It would be hard to get through a small hole. Um, but the main reason this is cool, or the two main reasons I should say this is cool, the first reason is ice. If you like ice in your drink, with the beaker, you can't really just put your traditional ice cube. is not going to fit in here. Um, they do sell, like, specific molds. I think Beaker does on their own site, as well as you've seen, like, the long cylinder molds. And so you'd have to get, like, a specialty ice cube mold for this. Um, whereas this one, pretty much any size ice, you could just put it in here, put your drink in, and then cap it. So that is an advantage um, in having the plastic contigo over the beaker. Now, when I take this off, though, I will say if you like drinking with a wider mouth, just I don't know why you would. Um, I tried doing it just for testing, you know, so I could talk about it. And I have to say that, like, it spilled a lot because this has the screws. It's not like it's a smooth um, lip. So you do get a lot more spillage. So it's not the best for drinking with an open mouth. It's, for me personally, just better if you're going to um, fill it with ice and that sort of thing. And for cleaning, which was my second point. I don't know if I said that. Um, I can get, like, I just use a baby bottle brush that I got from, like, the dollar store. And it works perfectly fine to get in here and really scrub it. But with this one, obviously, I have more options of um, bigger sturdier brush heads that I could get in there and clean it um, and guarantee that this gets a little bit cleaner. Now, cleaning of the actual product, um, if you ever want to like deep clean it and take off the silicone, the silicone on the Contigo is super hard ugh, to take off. Um, and I'll do it for you right now so you can see. It doesn't slide off the bottle. It, I think it's because it's a, pla a silicone on a plastic. It really grabs hard onto the bottle. So it's a little bit harder to remove it. Ugh. So there's the bottle once you remove your silicone, which takes forever. <laughs> um, so you can wash these separately. You can wash this alone. It's dishwasher safe. Um, this silicone sleeve more so then the beaker one gets really dirty like everything clings to this one it gets just i don't know i don't know if you can see it on this camera i don't think the quality is that good but a lot of little particles get on here where some things do cling to the beaker but just not as many things it takes a while for things to cling on here where this one like every little thing just kind of gets on it and once um the silicone is off like if for whatever, I don't know why you would use this without the silicone. Um, I just am not fond of this bottle. It just kind of looks cheap and it's just like a cheap, clunky plastic bottle. It's a very thick plastic, I will say. Now with the beaker, I find it super easy. You just kind of, it has a little exposed bottom. So you just push up and the bottle and the silicone slides off super easy, no problem. And you're left with this really sleek, kind of old fashioned looking jar. But I've had no problem with uh, taking this on and putting it back on. So like I said, this is just like a smoother kind of um, thing. I don't know if you can see when I close it up if it makes any difference to you on camera. But in person, this just has like a smoother finish. Uh, and it's a little bit of a thinner material where this one feels like a little more porous, a little thicker, and just not as refined as the beaker. And then to put the beaker back on, I find it to be pretty easy. I just kind of fold it over. And then I'm sure now that I'm going to do it on camera, it'll take me forever. But let's see. Get in there. I can easily just kind of put it back on where with the Contigo, I struggle a lot to get the silicone back onto the bottle. So I find this one so much easier to clean separately. And this one is a total challenge. In fact, I don't know if I'll be able to get it on in time for this video even. Um, but I'll talk to you while I struggle. <laughs> um, as far as the taste of the water, I personally experience even though I washed it the first time I drank out of both of them I still got kind of a residue I'm assuming I didn't wash either of them enough which is kind of gross but I did get just that kind of like new when you get a new water bottle you know what I mean it just tastes kind of funky so you kind of have to wash it like a couple times before that goes away and now that I've had these both for a while still working on this by the way now that I've had both of these for a while I can say that the 
I personally prefer the taste of the beaker, but I also personally prefer glass, like just drinking out of glass cups and that sort of thing in my everyday life. So I personally, even though it is more money and it it's a little bit harder um, as far as the ice goes, I prefer the beaker. Um, I just think, first of all, I like that it's the original. Like I like that they started it and Contigo's copying them. So I just sometimes like giving props to the original. I think it's sleeker, I think it's more elegant, it's much more easy to maintain, and true to what they said, it's truly all clean. With plastics, I do um, have a lot, like almost all my water bottles are plastic, and I had been looking for something that wasn't a mason jar that was glass that I could, you know, take with me. Finally, we're back on. <laughs> um, I was looking for a mason jar that I could take with me, or something that wasn't a mason jar that I could take with me for like water and drinks, and I really do think that this uh, met my needs. I love the small um, the small opening. I feel like it just makes drinking water like less spill. I'm like a person who spills when I'm working out and that sort of thing. So definitely less spills with this. I think it's so easy as you saw to remove and clean um, with the silicone sleeve. I like the little offset loop. I like the different colors. It comes in so many different colors and they also have one that has like a big heart on it if you're into that sort of thing. Um, so overall, I think I am team beaker on here, but I did want to come on. I did want to show you the Contigo because I don't think this is a bad water bottle. I think this is also a good one and it has its benefits such as the ice and um, it's lighter in weight. Those are mainly the two benefits. Oh, and the price point. Overall, though, I think that the beaker still wins, like I said, because of the taste. Um, it's very durable, and I like the all clean everything. You're really not worried about the plastic, whether it is or isn't BPA-free. You just never really know. And with glass, you just know it's going to be not a problem. Um, so I am Team Beaker. However, I know that not everybody can just go out and spend $30. I, couldn't, I can't even really do it if I didn't have that gift card. But I know it's like $30 for a water bottle is not ideal. So if you've had your eye on the Beaker or if I've just piqued your interest in it and there's just no way for whatever reason in your life that this is going to be a justified purchase, I would definitely go to Target and check out the Contigos. Like I said, just on sale for $8.99. If you have a Target red card, that's another 5% knocked off. Um, and it's very similar just in aesthetic and in the way it performs. And it's just a matter of preference, really. Um, but overall, like I said, I think the beaker is the winner for me. Let me know down below, have you tried either of these water bottles um, and your thoughts on it? And I will see you guys later. Bye.